O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of Him who called you out of darkness and the full light. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us. <coughs> oh God, who made your priest, blessed Francis, Xavier, Silos, outstanding. Proclaim the mysteries of redemption and comfort those in affliction. Grant by his intercession that we may work zealously for your glory. of mankind. For Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I'm amazed that you're so quick for the one who called you by the grace of a different gospel. Not that there is another, but there are some who are you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one that we preach to you, let that one be accursed. We have said before, and now I say it again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you have received, let that one be accursed. And now, I am, am I now currying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If, I'm willing, try, if I am willingly trying these people, I will not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, the gospel preached by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human being, nor I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. His covenant forever. I will give thanks with all of my heart. Holy of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The works of his hand are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts reliable forever and ever. Wrought in truth and equity. The truth, the, truth. the Lord, the Lord will, will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He's ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. As I have loved you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> there was a the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is this written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart, your whole being, and all your strength, and with your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You correctly do this, and you will live. But because he wanted to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell to victim to robbers as he went down from Jericho, Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him, went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going on that road when he saw him. He 
on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came when he saw him, he passed on the opposite side. When a Samaritan traveler came upon him, was moved with compassion at the sight, he approached the victim, poured oil and water over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal and he cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I've given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was Nathan's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said, do likewise. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, in light of what's going on in the church today, again, yesterday I posted on my social media, this dissertation by Pope Gregory Gray from the Liturgy of the Hours, the Office of Readings, about shepherds condemning shepherds' violence in their failure to uh, to feed the sheep and defend wolves. Today we have St. Paul saying, right, uh, whoever, anyone, if anyone, preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you received, let that one be and then he says it again. He says it. Doesn't matter whether it's an angel, right? Where does he say that? All right. Doesn't matter whether it's an angel, whether it be an angel from heaven, the gospel than the one that we preach you. Let that one be accursed. Now, by brothers in Christ, there's priests, there's bishops, and even the Pope is a little confused time, are they preaching a gospel that we know in our heart is not true? 2,000 years of Catholic faith. Now, here's the deal, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, I sound like Joe Biden. All right, here's the deal. You all are supposed to know your faith. Everyone's supposed to know their faith. There's no excuse for knowing, not knowing your faith. 2,000 years of history, Yes. But we have the catechism, all right? We have everything at our disposal to know our faith. I know converts to the faith who in, in, in time they are studying to come into the faith. And shortly they knew as well as I did, and I'm a cradle Catholic. There's no excuse for not knowing the faith. That are people who know the faith and deny the faith. Then there's other people you can tell are poorly, poorly catechized. And they do accept the gospel other than the one that has been taught to them that they know. Uh, that's why we have this consistent life ethic. That's why we have this seamless garment. It's not the gospel of Christ. It's not the gospel of Christ, all right? Now, um, uh, the gospel of Christ, uh, surely, who is the least of Christ in this day and age? And every single day and age. It was a least of Christ's brethren. In the time of Christ, it was widows and orphans. And then as we moved into the history of the church, it was uh, these uh, suffering hospitals and nursing homes and were the women and, and uh, taking care of the poor, the downtrodden, always, 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 the poor will always be with us. But today, today, all right, truly the least of Christ's brethren is the poorest of the poor, the most vulnerable of the vulnerable, our little brothers and sisters in the womb, who are least because they don't even have a voice. They can't do anything, right? They're really not even seen. Uh, they become the, the most uh, enormous victims, up to 56 million a year. So if you think about who is the least, the least of the least, what is the most horrible? horrible crime against humanity and what is the what crime is the most enormous all right all those answers are all those answered by our little brothers and sisters in the womb right so there's no way for us not to understand uh that indeed this is the preeminent issue facing us in every way shape or form and to minimize this by making all important is a heresy. It is a heresy. It's a denial of the faith. Now we also have not only the minimization of abortion throughout the church. 
All right, when you think about the 25 years since uh, 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 Evangelium Vitae, the billion babies have died minimally, uh, and the church has, uh, in that 25 years, been basically voiceless and has basically been inactive. While a billion babies have died, you've heard me talk about this quite often. And then we have these attacks against marriage and family, homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, right? The church has really allowed this to spread throughout the church without ever mentioning chastity, right? Any mentioning chastity. We see people persisting in mortal sin. Charity demands that we confront these people about their persistent mortal sin. So there are corruptions of the gospel. There are corruptions of the gospel today and indeed at the highest levels of the church, and we should heed the warnings of St. Peter. It doesn't matter who's, I'm uh, St. Paul, it doesn't matter who's preaching these uh, heresies. It doesn't matter who's uh, uh, spreading these heresies. It could be the Pope, it could be cardinals, it could be bishops, it could be anyone. We are not to, us in the micro, in the micro, all right, we are called to live our faith day in and day out. That's why, of course, I've taken Mother Teresa as the patroness of my On the Road for Life ministry because the Good Samaritan is uh, the way we should live our faith. We are to be merciful, be Christ to all that we see, see Christ in all that we meet, uh, and that is how we to live our faith day in and day out. But meanwhile, we are called to challenge all of those in the macro all right, who are corrupting the faith that we know given to us by Jesus Christ, passed on to the apostles, and passed on to us even to this day. <clears throat> Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs. We pray for the Catholic, the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious for our seminary study, for the priesthood, for those discerning religious life, for mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that everyone in their vocation may desire to do all things in humble obedience for the praise, honor, and glory of God, and atonement and reparation for our sins and charity in our vocation. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the world, Eucharistic unity amongst all Christians of the world, our country, our, our political leadership, for our own daily conversion, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At the end of all uh, attacks against sanctity of life, marriage, and family, Christ, brethren, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the for all those suffering any trial or tribulation, whether it be physical or spiritual, <clears throat> they may find comfort in Jesus as we reach out to them in spiritual and corporal works of mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the particular intentions of this Mass, for your intentions, our intentions, all the people, including those who may forget to pray for, for all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased family members, and for our family members and loved ones who are away from the church, that they may embrace Christ's mercy. We pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask, we ask, we ask things through the intercession of uh, St. Francis Xavier Silo, St. Faustina, uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed do Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you for the work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed do you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice <clears throat> in your hands to the praise and glory of His our good and of all of us in the church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, and the blessed Francis Xavier Silos, and grant that we, in the mysteries of the passion, imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to Let us give thanks to our God. Is right and just. Truly right and just. Our, our salvation always and ever. Give thanks. Lord, Lord Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. As on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, see Lord, should bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of preaching. Safe in answer to his prayers, and so with the saints. We sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, he gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. There the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation give me thanks in your presence and minister to you <coughs> humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of christ may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of church francis our pope our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age to may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. in him, O God, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the power and the glory are yours now and forever. But Jesus Christ has said to you, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With Lamb of God, you take away the sins. sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. How worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will pasture my sheep, I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. 
body of Christ, amen. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith that they may everywhere profess in word and deed, which blessed Francis Xavier Silos never ceased to labor, for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking to ruin us souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, 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 Maria.